I think I got one. Got two. Welcome back to the channel, Death Row Waterfowl Co. I'm headed in the backfield. I'm getting ready to bust up some starlings. They found my food plots in the snow and they've been all over them. So I'm gonna go back here, see if I can't take care of a few. Check it out. Oh yeah, that's two. Two down. I don't know if you can see them or not, but we're gonna get up over here and set up. All right, just sit down. Tuck them in this brush pile a little bit. Try to conceal us a little bit. I got two birds down, two starlings. Shooting the Beretta A400 Extreme Plus. And uh, with all the snow on the ground, all these starlings are wanting in here. To pick on all the food scraps from my food plots and sunflowers and, and everything. And I'm trying to preserve what's left for the deer that hang out back here. And uh, with starlings, you can hunt them year round here in Kentucky. I don't know about anywhere else. I guess they're that way all over the place, but there's some doves flying in. It's pretty sweet, but uh, yeah, two birds down. Got him. Oh, looks a little injured. It's all good. Another Tweety down. Boys, now I got three Tweeties down and some more starlings just showed up. They're flying right over top of me. So we're bright bus, he's up. Got him. It's a dove. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Dropped him. Man, look at all these deer tracks out here. Wasted, boy. Wasted. Another one. This is some real good practice for uh, the off season. Waterfowl season just ended about four days ago, maybe three days ago. But uh, yeah, shooting starlings in the winter. These are invasive species and uh, they just get into everything and they're annoying, a nuisance, especially to farmers. So make sure you guys take care of your farmers. Man, check that out. Got four Tweeties down. Hopefully we can get some more here. There's a woodpecker. Oh, there's another one up in the tree over here. Too many birds. There's one by himself. Got him. There's one. Go get this one I just dusted. Ah, there he is. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Man, we're just having a straight shootout right now. I mean, it's coming in my backyard for about 20, 30 minutes, and I've already got five birds down. Pretty awesome. Like I said, I had some corn out here and some soybeans. I got sunflowers and stuff uh, that I feed my wildlife with. But when these nuisance birds show up, you gotta do something with them because they'll just destroy your crop. So that's the only way I know how to do it. And I'll tell you guys what, this Beretta A400 Extreme Plus, I mean, it's just an awesome gun. So if you guys are thinking about getting this gun, dude, I've killed some ducks with it. I've killed some geese. This is my first year using it. And uh, I'm using a Kicks High Flyer full choke. 
and I'm just using some uh, seven and a half Winchester target loads right now. There's starlings. Got him. Oh yeah, he's hurt. Oh, he's still hobbling. I might have to put another round in him. There he is. Got him. Oh my gosh, it's number seven. It's a long shot right there. Just add it to the pile. Let's get loaded up. I got a feeling we'll be back. I'm telling you guys, shooting starlings. Uh, it was great practice to work on your skills with your shotgun. And uh, especially if you got a new shotgun. It just kind of helps you get a feel for it. How to use it, where to aim, how to shoulder it. So, use your tools. And uh, I can tell you right now, this Beretta is a pretty good tool so far. Oh. Can't get enough of them. <laughs> I can tell you right now, I absolutely love when they come in, just land right in front of you. And uh, <laughs> I know wing shooting's a thing, but when you're dealing with an invasive species, just kill the hell out of them. I'd say some more birds are gonna come in here in a bit. But we still got a nice little pile going on. Shooting the Winchester target loads. <laughs> gotta do something. Hunting season's over for pretty much everything else. So, starlings it is. Honestly, I didn't turn this video into a uh, Beretta A400 Extreme Plus review video, but if you guys have any questions about it, leave a comment down below and I'll tell you everything I know about it. Oh, that's Starlink. Oh, I should have busted him. Dang it. Dang it, I can't believe I missed that. He was like right in my, right on my dinner plate. 10 yards, maybe 20 feet high. I know you guys seen that. You better shut up about this gun and start hunting. Oh, right there in that tree. Got him. Let's see. One. <clears throat> two. Three. Pretty good little shootout. So I've been using the Beretta all season long. And it's uh it's done pretty good for me. Killed ducks, geese with it. Um, shot, shoots really well, especially if you use like a, uh, a full choke from Kicks High Flyer. Uh, if you're shooting steel, I would go with a Pattern Master. And uh, if you're shooting like Boss, um, probably go with a Factory Full or the Kicks Improved Modified, which is the Smoke Choke Improved Modified or their Kicks, Kicks High Flyer Extra Full. Um, but as you guys see, laid out quite a few birds today with a Bread A400. <clears throat> Did it with some uh, really light target loads, um, zero failures to eject. It's a gas operated gun, it's pretty awesome. And uh, like I said, I've been stoked about it ever since I got it and it shoots really well. I wanna thank you guys for tuning in to Death Row Waterfowl Co and checking out all of our hunting videos and anything else that we have going on. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet to catch all of our future hunts. We have turkey season coming up and it's also crow season. I'm still probably gonna hunt starlings. So make sure you guys tune in. Peace out.